of you know, I have addressed this peaceful gathering of Falun Gong activists for several years now. Yet sadly, things appear to have worsened for our brothers and sisters in China. The leaders in Beijing have continued their brutal post-Arab Spring crackdown, fearing that it could be the Chinese people who could rise up next to confront their captors. These communist thugs have a particular interest in repressing Falun Gong practitioners who pursue truthfulness, compassion, and tolerance as the antithesis of what the Chinese rulers stand for. The 610 office established in 1999 to carry out the repression of Falun Gong is eerily similar to the Gestapo and the KGB in its propaganda and ruthless methods. Indeed, Falun Gong adherents have been systematically arrested, tortured, and sent to forced labor camps for re-education, placed in mental institutions for brainwashing, and subjected to organ harvesting. This abhorrent policy has resulted in over 3,400 de deaths, and to this day, hundreds of thousands of Falun Gong followers are held in labor camps. The peaceful men and women of Falun Gong are among the largest group of prisoners of conscience in the world. These murders, kidnappings, and other egregious human rights abuses serve as a reminder of the length and the depth the cruel men in Beijing will go to in order to retrain, retain their brutal grip on power. Authorities have imprisoned anyone willing to speak out to defend victims of these terrible acts, including human rights lawyer Mr. Gao, who remains incarcerated at a remote facility and unable to regularly contact his family. The cowards in Beijing are all so scared of Falun Gong's tranquil teachings that their internet censors have blocked Chinese citizens from searching for it or even discussing it in web chats or via email. The loathsome persecution of Falun Gong must stop and it must stop now. It is essential that the people of China continue their struggle for democracy and human rights. It is essential that friends and supporters of democracy and human rights continue to show their solidarity and support by speaking out against these abuses and by embracing such courageous figures of conscience like the Dalai Lama. China's rise as a global power has made people hesitant to criticize the regime and they fear economic repercussions. President Obama must do what is right and not be timid in the face of Chinese bullying and Chinese threats. It is up to the United States, it is up to each and every one of us here today as symbols of liberty to confront the immoral communist dictatorship in Beijing and speak out for human rights of the Chinese people. This means urging the old men in Beijing to stop repressing and persecuting Falun Gong practitioners, the people of Tibet, the Uyghurs, and all other Chinese, as well as North Korean refugees. It means not allowing ownership of America's debt to be synonymous with ownership of American values. It is our responsibility to be that shining city on the hill, to be a beacon of freedom, liberty, and hope for the entire world to see. America must stand with the Falun Gong and indeed with all of the oppressed. Beijing must release Falun Gong practitioners and other prisoners of conscience immediately. Set China free. Thank you so much.